Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Sorry it's been so long. Um, I just haven't had time to film anything but I thought I would film another makeup haul because it was quite a while ago now when I'm filming this but there was a summer flash sale on TikTok and everything was so cheap. So many brands put everything basically half price so I was like I might as well buy it all now while it's cheaper and I probably saved myself like over a hundred pound um I did buy quite a lot but yeah okay I'm just gonna do it in a random order so the first thing is from Be Perfect no that's a lie that's a lie the first thing is actually from Glow Hub <clears throat> and I picked up one of the Glow Balms in Jammy I didn't know whether to buy this shade or milkshake but milkshake I have quite a lot of blushes like milkshake and I think it was Amelia Olivia she did a video with this shade and it literally just looks like a strawberry colour on your cheeks like it is so nice it's not the typical colour I would go for but I think because it's a balm it's not too pigmented um, oh wow yeah it is literally a really sheer like balm um but no when i saw the video of it on her face I was like i need that color and i also love the packaging next up is pink honey um i didn't get loads from pink honey i just saw this and thought they looked cool i'm not massively into lip products i've come out with new lip liners and lipstick so the lip liner i bought the shade I actually don't know. A more, like a brownie colour. Um, that's just the packaging. This camera is crap at focusing. That's the colour. And this cannot be used by itself. It is so light. It's the Velvet Cream Lipstick in... Oh my god, Madeline. Those colours where you put it in the middle. Because... It is like foundation lips. Um, I, I like the packaging. But yeah, it's... I don't know if you can even see that. It's so like... It basically blends in with my skin. Okay, next up is Be Perfect. I just picked up the Ekinsu Radiant Glow Luxurious Multi-Use Skin Perfector in Light Medium. I've wanted to try this for the longest time. And I thought whilst it's on sale, I might as well just try it. Um, love the packaging. Do you mean you use it underneath foundation? I don't know. I probably could have gone with a slightly dark shade. Um, but that looks beautiful. I didn't need any of this stuff at all. Literally didn't need any of it. Um, but it's all from brands that I love. And I was like, they're not even expensive anyway. But like, whilst everything was literally like four or five pounds, I feel like I had to. I then picked up the Cronza in Pecan, Pecan, however you say that. I don't know if this is going to be slightly too dark, but I don't know, because I do always go slightly too light and then I regret it. I guess if I just go in with a light hand it won't be too bad. That's not too bad, that's quite a nice shade actually. So yeah, just picked that up, I'm excited to try that, I've wanted to try that for ages as well. I have so many cream bronzers I didn't really need it well this is a very big box for what's actually in it picked up another one of the lip oils I have the coconut one and I love it it reminds me of summer but my other favourite flavour anything is grape I'm obsessed with grape and it's just a purpley colour and it's just I don't know how anyone can't like grape I just think it's a stunning smell. This is mainly what I wanted. I wanted the Hollow Hold Setting Spray. I kind of wish I'd bought the travel size as well, but I haven't actually tried it, so I don't know if it's any good. But I'm obsessed with the packaging. Even the fact that the lid isn't bulky. I love it. I'm so excited to try that. I have about 15 setting sprays, but it was like half price. Next up is... Peaches and cream. So I picked up the body glaze, like the shimmery version. I think they've got the original and they've come out with the shimmer version. I went for the shimmery version because I just think on holiday, 
that will be stunning. I kind of do want to try the original as well. And then it just worked out cheaper to buy the twist and bronze brush with it. Because then I got free delivery. Um, and it's just one of those retractable ones that you can just use to put all over your chest. I'm so excited to try that. I really, 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 really like peaches and cream. Um, and it's beautiful. Okay. Next up, made by Mitchell, so that you know who these are just from the bags. First up is a lip liner. These are really weird. I mainly bought these because I was just intrigued to see what it was like. It's the Modern Melt lip liner in the shade All Yours. This is basically a liquid lip liner. Um, I don't know how good it's actually going to be, but I just thought it was interesting. I really like the shade, and it's got this like weird I don't know if you're going to see that this weird like tip um it's a really it's a nice shade um but yeah it literally feels like eyeliner so lastly so basically I didn't even know these were a thing until I was looking through TikTok but he's come out with a foundation a concealer and a blur primer they technically don't release until October um and I'm surprised any of this was in stock still there weren't a great swatches, like really bad at shade matching myself, especially with concealer. And I think because they're not technically re released yet, there wasn't that much on them. So I didn't get the foundation or the concealer, I'll wait until October for that. Um, but I did get the blur primer because I think this is the same sort of vibe as the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Um, this is definitely a shunt summer shade, but I went for the shade TBL2 and yeah it literally reminds me of the charlotte tilbury all this filter and i actually think that's a really nice shade so yeah i'm excited to try that i literally love these i literally never wear foundation i literally wear this with a bit of concealer and then i'm done last two packages i had to order this separately because i thought i ordered it in the main one and i didn't but it's the Beauty Crop Avocado Foaming Cleanser. I've heard really good things about, is it the cleansing balm, the avocado cleansing balm? So I'm hoping this will be just as good. Um, love the packaging. The Beauty Crop is by far one of my all time favorite makeup brands. Um, and I do really like their skincare as well. Yeah, last but not least, this is all from the Beauty Crop. This was the biggest order I did. I basically ordered some more hair clips i got the red shade these were like one pound fifty i wish i'd bought them all now but these for when you're doing your makeup or if you're curling your hair are so nice sorry if i'm quite quiet there's loads of people walking around on my hallway and i find it really awkward talking when i know people are lingering okay the next thing i picked up was one of the glow milk blush press blushes in poppin peony this was all over my tiktok it's identical to the other one I have. It, I think the other one's rose something. I didn't realise they were the exact same colour except this is a shimmer version. If you can see that. This has been all over TikTok. It's a beautiful like blush. I guess a blush topper, like a, a highlight almost. Um, yeah, I literally do have this shade already but the matte version so I saw, oh my god, this camera. This camera is so bad at focusing, it's a joke. It's the Canon. And it never focuses on anything. Next up, I picked up the Beauty Crop Weetry Hydrating Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. This smells insane. I'm actually going to use it. Now. Um, yeah. As soon as I saw this, I wanted to get my hands in it, and I'm so glad I waited a little bit because I literally think I paid five or six pounds for it, um, and it smells insane. I then picked up another backup of my all-time favourite setting spray. The Wee Cherie setting spray is the best setting spray, in my opinion. I've just run out of my large one, and I've only got my travel size left, so I thought, whilst it's on sale for like a fiver, I might as well pick up another full size. This was the only thing that wasn't on sale but I think it's because it's literally just come out and I think it had a few pounds off it but it's the vitamin babe SPF 30 setting mist this sounds like such a good idea like 
once you've done your makeup you can't obviously reapply sunscreen to it unless you want to take it all off so just having this to like top up I just think it's such a good idea love the packaging I love all their setting spray and then the last two things I picked up the Wee Cherie Multi Hyaluronic Serum I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this or not because I can't use the primer I don't know why but it's every time I put it on I need to take my makeup straight off because my skin is so itchy the setting spray doesn't do it um, so I'm hoping this won't do it as well I'm hoping it's just something that's in the primer I don't know what it is but there is something in it that really irritates my skin but I'll have to see but I really wanted to try it so and for like four pound it's not the end of the world if I can't use it then last but not least picked up the Dewy Bounce Hydrating Serum Primer set and spray version of this just before the sale because I didn't realize it was happening that set and spray so I thought I'd give the primer a go I'm obsessed with the packaging this on the back of my hand is so smooth um, yeah I kind of want to try all the other things from this range yeah that's basically everything I picked up I thought there was a few more things I don't know if I've forgotten things but anyway I'm officially on a spending ban again because I have nowhere to store any of this my makeup is filled to the brim in my drawers um, but I couldn't not buy anything from the sale so yeah but anyway sorry if that was a bit quick I actually have to go out for lunch now but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video